So I'm going to change this to demo radio button .java, existing class. And when I do that, of course, the class name will error out because it's now a different one. Bring your mouse over demo checkbox and rename it to demo radio button. As a result, the constructor will aut automatically be renamed as well if you have a constructor in your class. Now, instead of J checkbox, I want to do J radio button. So now I selected these four lines and I went under edit find replace. I'm asking that look for J checkbox in these four lines and replace them with J radio button. It, and under scope, it says selected lines, and then it says moving forward from where I am. Replace all. We're going to replace all of them in these four lines. Click close. And now you have to organize your imports. You will notice, for now, with that one brief change of replacing all your checkboxes with J radio button, the rest of the code is error free. Because the working of the radio button and working of the checkbox by default is exactly the same, they can be checked or unchecked, selected or unselected. Checkboxes are mainly used when you select when, when you want to select all items or some of the items. Radio buttons are always used to select one of the many items. So now when you run this, you will be able to see that all those checkboxes are now being changed to radio buttons. If I select vb.net, it selects vb.net. When I select csharp.net, vb is still selected. Because by default, radio buttons are not in one group. Just like in HTML, if you want a bunch of radio buttons to be such that only one can be selected, you have to add them to a same group. So in HTML, you name them the same. But here, you have to create a button group and add all the radio buttons to that button group. Then you will be only able to select one of the many. So let's try to do that. We will now going to create a button group, which is a Java built-in class, public static button group equals to new button group uh, group sorry I forgot to name the object group equals to new button group now to this group I would like to add each one of my courses which this instruction I'm going to do in the main So inside the main method, add each one of the courses to the same group. Now, after making this change, if you now run your application, you will notice that only one of them can be selected at any given time. Whenever somebody is selected, all others are deselected. So this is how you can add multiple radio buttons to the same group and let them work like this. Everybody done with these lines? Okay, now let's scroll down. Where I have number one written out, right? Well, it's hard to remember the numbers. Right now, I have told you, but generally speaking, this is the code that Java developers use. They call the item event class, which has a built-in constant called selected, which has a value of 1 behind the scene. But this way you don't have to remember 1 or 2 or 0 or whatever. Similarly, there is deselected. Just like there is selected, there is deselected. So now when I run it, the working is exactly the same as before. Now, in this particular method, since all of the checkboxes are in a group and only one can be selected at any given time, so unselected is never displayed. 